our next guest is a three-time Emmy nominee, you know, from three seasons of Ted Lasso and two Maleficent movies. Next, she joins the fifth season of one of the best shows on TV. Fargo premieres a week from tonight on FX. Please welcome Juno Temple. <laughs> to have you here, and congratulations on your uh, Emmy nomination. Thank three you. seasons, three Emmy nominations. Wild. Thank you. Thank you. You come from, like, a fa like the Russells, a filmmaking family, correct? I do, yeah. A filmmaking, brilliant, wonderful, magical, mad family. <laughs> I was reading about your dad directed some, like, the great, oh, the Sex Pistols, mm -hmm. The Clash, mm -hmm. uh, Tom Petty. Yeah. Uh, in, in music videos, music films? Yeah, I've always said his, he's like a musician, but his instrument's a camera. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I grew up, in, and um, Joe Strama from The Clash was one of my, my dad's greatest, greatest friends. And I remember at about 14, turning around to my parents, being like, there's a lot of people in our local town, Taunton, Somerset, uh, in Clash t-shirts. Was Joe's band, like, a big deal? <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. So Joe Strummer would come over the house. Yeah, he lived he lived down the road from us growing that up. That is just crazy. And would you be on set for any of these these videos and these movies? Um, yes, somewhat, but in a way that I don't really remember. There there are some pictures uh, uh, that are good memories from me looking quite cross at being on a set because I probably would have liked to have been playing, you know, with Barbies and fairies at home. Yes, you did not want to be. Uh, yeah, it was Waiting take your daughter to work day. Night. Begrudgingly, yeah. <laughs> and then you lived in L.A. too, right? You moved here at what age? I was, so my parents were living out here, and then I was born actually in the U.K., but then came back here um, until I was about five. And um, uh, I actually grew up in, this is an interesting place to grow up. Uh, my parents bought a house without realizing until Halloween came around and there was a tour bus that it was the original Michael Myers house from the Halloween movie. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you have any idea what that meant? I was five. Aren't realtors supposed to disclose when there's a murder in the home? <laughs> Whether it's even if it's fictional, <laughs> like a mass murderer? Wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. So the buses would come by on Halloween and you'd be like, oh, yeah, it's Well, the, uh, apparently there was a moment where I was outside sort of on a swing, probably playing with bobbies and fairies, and I have naturally very curly hair and... Um, the tour bus was like, oh my gosh, it's Shirley Temple. And I turned around, I was like, no, I'm Juno Temple. So... <laughs> <laughs> and wasn't Shirley Temple around 67 at that time when, <laughs> when that tour, tour bus uh, operator confused you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I watched the first episode of Fargo, which is one of my favorite shows, and it was just fantastic. And you are great in it. You play this very, I, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see what the, the secret is. Mm -hmm. I suspect it has something to do with John Hamm, mm -hmm. who we saw briefly. Mm -hmm. You probably can't say. No, I can't. No, you can't, but I know that I'm right. <laughs> um, you shot it up in Calgary, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was it? Woo! Oh, and... yeah! You kind of have like a, almost like a uh, MacGyver-esque quality, your character, where you, um, you're attacked and you look around and you find a bottle of hairspray and a lighter and you blast this guy in the face with fire. I do. Have you ever set someone on fire? <laughs> you know, it's a question most people um, could answer immediately. <laughs> But I've done a lot of weird things. I'm going to say no, I have not set a person on fire. You'll um, remember it, I think, if you do. I did have a friend who would have me light his farts on fire. <laughs> um, so that would be the closest to That's it. That's yeah. okay. Well, What's I've... it like? Is it fun? Horrific. <laughs> done it once, don't need to do it again, and don't need to light my farts on fire either. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, actually, I was going to surprise you. Guillermo. <laughs> Were you nervous you were going to hurt the person? Well, so the person was wearing, uh, like, he, the guy had a hood. So there was a stunt guy that was doing the actual moment of being hit with the fire. And uh, then we had this surreal beat where Devin, who was playing the actual character on the show, was behind the camera making the noises for the stunt guy. So I had to set him on fire, flee around the other side of the camera, and then he had... Devin squealing, but seeing the guy up in flames. And when you set somebody on fire, 
their body moves in a way that you can never unsee. It's Really? Yeah, I've done it, don't need to do it again. And did the stunt guy, he was fine, I assume, he, right? He did it twice! He did it two times. Two times, I was fine. You, it seems like you are in more danger than he is holding the hairspray and blasting the fire. <laughs> um, no, that, because the stunt guys that, that work on, you know, all of, they've done all of the different installments of Fargo are so badass, they wouldn't let that happen. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, my body uh, feeling me would Yeah, right. Be. We have a uh, photograph you brought from uh, being up in Calgary, which is, uh, these are the Northern Lights, right? Yes, I've always are. wanted to see that. Me? You took this picture? On an iPhone. Had you seen them before? No, and I came home, this was just randomly after one day at work, it was about nine o'clock at night, and on the other side of the kind of picture, if I'd gone, if I'd done panoramic, you would see there was an amazing moon and star, which is what I noticed originally. And then the driver was like, Juno, you know, look up. And I was like, oh, holy sh Nikes. Right, and, yeah. um, <laughs> and then managed to take a picture of that, went to the backyard to try and take another picture, and they'd already disappeared. And then the driver told me, I don't know if anybody knows this, but actually they make sounds. If you get close enough to the North Pole to be that, like that close to them, they make the sound of wind chimes. Really? Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. Are you sure you're not seeing UFOs like um, <laughs> Goldie Hawn and company? <laughs> you missed that, I guess, yeah. No, no, wow. no, I was thinking, I'm, you know. Well, I can't wait to see what happens on, uh, on Fargo. Uh, the first episode uh, is a week from tonight. Season five starts uh, Tuesday night, 10 o'clock on FX. Juno Temple, everybody. Thank you for being here. We'll be back with David.